pendulums will be a deck. Oh yeah, I forgot about pendulums. Summoning. I have no <laughs> idea how that works yeah, or don't, what they do. Yeah, neither do I. So don't ask any questions about pendulum summoning. I think they're like monster field spells. Something like that. They they go. They have like their own slots. It's weird. Spellgrounds are bath towels. Basically. Hmm. I bet they don't handle water very well though. I think you're gonna actually put them in the washing machine. Really? Huh. Oh, so we have the first game. I believe Tyree won the die roll. Yeah, oh, which is really important for Infernities. And it looks like Dallas is playing dragons, some form of dragons or another. Hieratics. Hieratics, okay. And Tyree also opened up Soul Charge, so we'll see if he can do any broken plays. Oh, yep, yep, oh. yep. <laughs> broken plays incoming. Yep, no Maxi, so he'll probably make a Lavable chain, send something, special summon it. And end the turn with an unbreakable board. Yep. But we'll see. So this is where Soul Charge gets to show where it's broken. Yep. The interesting thing, though, is Tyra's going to be wicked low on life. He'll be at, like, 4,000 to start the oh, game. Oh, yeah, because of the... Um, the instant fusion pays 1,000. Mm -hmm. So I guess he sends the... Whatever. And he's going to send... Uh, Probably... What is it called? Archfiend? Archfiend, yeah. Does he have another monster in his hand? The Infernities. Deck. Infernities? It's Infernities, yes. yeah. Infernities, Tyree, and then Heretics, Dallas. I assume he sends Archfiend. Yeah, and uh, I think he has another monster in his hand. Oh, if he has another monster, then... I don't really know that much about Infernities. Yeah, he has an Archfiend in his hand. So yeah. Oh wow. Yep. So this is gonna be really good. He banishes that to special summon Archfiend. Uh, this is already getting out of hand. Yeah. So th this one looks like it's. I don't want to say over, but well, he's gonna he be in a very commanding board yeah. position. D he searches barrier, and then does he soul charge right away? Or I believe he, so. Yeah. Yeah, and gets another one. So he's gonna get another search, then go for another four. This is actually a pretty fair. So, well, Archivine is broken, mm -hmm. but other than that, it seems like a pretty fair. It's not as crazy as it could have been. I don't think he makes another four because he has to keep it. Oh, right, he's seven him. for a barrier, right? Yeah. So he searched out Necromancer. He is going to do that. That's oh, yeah, because. Yep, so he'll send Street oh, Patrol special. Yeah, yeah, we clearly know everything about Infernities. All right. And then get another break, yep. Yep, that, that's a pretty. Good board. So Dallas, Dallas is going to have a lot of fun this game. There's a break set, a barrier set, and two mysteries. Yeah, or one of them was trap stun. Okay. So it doesn't do anything this turn, but yeah. when he goes for game next turn, he might have another really fast match. At least this one. Uh, one. At least this game, Tyre actually like went off. It wasn't just. Oh, you don't have any playable cards? Yeah. Lind, Lind it wasn't times. just poke, 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 poke game. We got to see a combo. I feel as though that wasn't even like that crazy of a combo for Infernities. I think they have some <laughs> yeah. much crazier in-depth ones. Yeah, it definitely could have got more insane. But, I mean, that by itself is so hard to deal with. At least it's not too barrier set. Yep. It could be worse. One. With Soul Charge, right? Yeah. He said 6,000, yeah. Yeah, life points are correct. Yep, so, so he's yeah, game two. Didn't want to reveal what he was playing. Definitely the right choice there. I, I don't see any com combination of cards that could have broken that board. It'll be pretty interesting to see if Tyree, like, well, knows what he's playing or just has, like, general things that he's like, well, I'm going to put these in because this is what people set against me normally. Mm-hmm. His face just froze. <laughs> oh, God. Camera is not working. Okay. At least that's a good still. Yeah, just keep that keep that up. Tyree is very... He's thinking. <laughs> no, yeah, but that, that goes to show how important the die roll was because uh, Dallas definitely could have probably done something similar on his first turn. Yeah. Unfortunately, die roll... Is very important in Yu-Gi-Oh. 
in some formats more than others, and this looks like it's going to be one of the formats where it just kind of decides everything. If, if this becomes an Infernity format, ugh. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'll be commentating the whole format then, because... At least, like, Infernity is, like... They're the, like, basic combos, but I feel as though that is definitely one of those decks that does show skill. It definitely does. Because as you get better with it, you know exact like... Mm -hmm. I don't know how much Tyree has tested. I, I assume, you know, Tyree's won twice, so he's probably tested a fair amount. He actually... I think he texted, texted me and told me he, like, wasn't prepared for this event at all. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I, he might have played Infernities in the past, yep. and they haven't changed that much. Like, okay, add Soul Charge. It's just... That's not much of a change. So if you if you ever knew Infernities, you can still play them. But it's it's just like water. Like they're the basic water players. Mm -hmm. And then you can tell the people that like you watch them and they do everything with. Like, they do it with purpose. They're not just like, well, should I like wait for a round and do whatever? It's like, no, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking advantage of the game. Yeah, there's definitely skill. It's just from the other side of the table. It's like, oh, well. It's like, oh, I'm playing against somebody that knows what they're doing. I guess I can't play this game. Yep. It's just a really frustrating deck to play against, and I literally lose to them every time I play against them, so. Let's see. All right, so uh, Dallas is going to start this game off. So he is playing upstart. Yeah. Most people who play pretty much any dragon variant do play upstart. Very interesting to see that Joe didn't. Oh, uh, it looks like uh, Terry has another good hand. With a maxi to top it off. Um, at least I thought it was a maxi. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> Infernities don't play maxi. It was a dark greffer. I can't see anything. All yeah, right. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's in a combo off again. Yeah. Unless, uh, I didn't see Dallas's hand, but I don't know if he has a hand trap. Yep. Yep, here it comes. Is that Necromancer? Yep. Yeah. Do we? Did you see the set cards of Terry? I didn't. Okay. I think one of them was a break. So yeah, here's the max. Yeah. Now does he use his? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I think, and he's just gonna make. Yeah, because he's getting a plus one out of that. So yeah. definitely. Now he so has yeah. Barrier, so he's yeah. gonna attack. Yep. Max, like Maxi, obviously stopped the combo, but it was like a one for one Maxi. Basically, yep. And now he has barrier set with three monsters. Yeah. If this he yeah, if Dallas can't crack his board this turn, he's just going to lose next turn. This is looking like another quick one. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Dallas could have some crazy stuff. He yeah. He's a full hand, and he's playing dragon, so. Yeah, definitely he could have plays here. He has a blaster and a title. And lots of hieratics, like four. Yep. He should have plays here. We'll see. Barrier negates effects and spells and traps, correct? Yes. So it, it can't negate Tefno at summon, because that's inherent, I believe. So he'll definitely get that off. So yeah, he, here's the counter push. <laughs> yep. We'll see if this goes through. If it does, he'll probably win. If it doesn't, he'll probably lose. Like, that's the one thing, though, like, about Infernities that seem really good is, like, Vanities in them, you just go, you just play your Archfiend, you get a barrier and a break, flip emptiness, and it's it's oppression, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Infernities are going to be really, uh, they could be the deck to beat this format. Uh, all right, so I don't, I don't know why he did that. Didn't he know of the, I guess he's trying to break through that. Yeah, he wanted to get that out of the way. I'm sure that was part of his plan. So he has, it looks like another heretic, two big dragons, emptiness, and something else in his hand. I think it's very interesting. Like, I don't know if... Well, I guess now he knows. But I think he had had his extra deck out the whole time and left uh, just the Draco sack on top, which is very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that is. Especially after scooping game one. Tyree, if he saw it, if it was like that, he would have known what he's playing. Yeah. Or at least had a guess it was water or dragons. Mm, Dallas's set card could be something good. I don't know what kind of traps he plays. Like, I assume it's not trap stun, or else he would have used it. Yeah, it must be, um... What's the one? Uh, ashes? Ashes, yeah, it could be ashes. I don't know if... 
they still play Asus with Soul Charge? Yeah. yeah. They probably do. I'm surprised to see Hieratic. Like, I think like, they have more combos, but I think they have more dead hands in Mythic. Yeah. So he summons Tidal, banishes a Tomb, and I think that's a set. Yeah. Okay. So now he'll probably try to run over the Arch Fiend. Yeah. If he runs over the Arch Fiend, does Break need a face up Infernity Monster? Can't he just break the title if he just attacks with that? Yeah. By removing the barrier? Yeah, he could. But that, that would be getting a good waste use. Of break, yeah, yeah. It would be getting that would be in Dallas's favor, I feel like. Either way. This is a big turn because the emptiness like of Tyree like Tyree could very easily just poke for thirty five again next turn. But if he tries to combo off with the Necromancer again. Mm -hmm. And the emptiness resolves on like a. He has to get that necromancer off the board. Yeah. Otherwise, he'll just overlay, and that bad things will happen. He does have the blaster as well, but. I don't think he commits two here. I, I I don't think so either. Is there any sound? I don't believe the feature magic cameras actually give sound. No, they no. don't. We just want you guys to listen to us. I think the back row must be relevant because he keeps looking at it. And then, like, he's either hyper bluffing. Because if he knows he's basically just losing, there's no reason to keep looking at it. Yeah, one of those. Like, he definitely has something set. There, you can't have... Really I'm surprised you killed That's the interesting. Grave. Oh, well, it leaves the Archfiend there. Okay, so this way he can't overlay for a four. It's kind of the same thing as killing the Necromancer, because the Necromancer can't use his effect next turn. But this way he can't make a four, so yeah. Break, pops the, set, the card he just set. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. So he has the Foolish anyways. Necromancer's going to bring back the Arch Fiends. Yeah, and he, p he popped the, uh, the Emptiness, so... Yep. Okay, so Wait. He, had, he had two Emptinesses. Oh, he had the Maxi, so... Oh, uh, that's why he didn't do it last time. But he has the uh, Upstart. But I he has the Upstart. Yeah, I thought that was an MST, actually. All right, so see what he draws. I think it's pretty interesting. Like he obviously had to do that, but I'm, he's pretty locked on his turn. Yeah. Or I guess well, he has Tef knew it, so that's a normal. Uh, I don't know if he can do anything. Apparently not. Yep. Yeah, so he's going to take 18. So yeah, he's just locked out of the game. Yep, he's on a clock now. He has to draw an out to this. Um, hopefully he plays MST. Yeah, he drew another Heretic, so that's not going to do him any good. Is he at 55, or is he at... I think he's at... 37? Uh, yep. 37, so that's going to put another 21. So 19. 19, yeah, yeah, that sounds more So, right. yeah. So he has two more turns, depending on if... Tyree draws a monster or not. Drew Dragon well, Shrine. Oh, so yep. There's an out to it. Now it's, yeah. So he'll have plays. He has a lot of cards in his hand. I'd be surprised if he couldn't pull off some crazy stuff here. I think he has three different, or he has three colors and then some heretics. Yeah. So yeah, now he has all four rulers. Hmm. So we could pull off some combos here with... Uh, it, it just depends on what Tyree's back row is, really. Yeah. And then Tyree could easily flip up a Vanny's Emptiness and this game would be over. <coughs> but it looks like he doesn't have a response to the special for Teftonwit Special Summon. So I, I would think that Dallas would now bring out guard and try to nuke the board with the Black Rose. 
was thinking about it. Yeah, but. Uh, it seems like the only reasonable play here. And that'll give him dragon fodder, too, for his things if it doesn't go through. Nope, he's nope. just going to get the, the six. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that's right. I think he needs to bring out the guard from the deck. But let's see, what's he going to do here? Another attune. Yeah, especially with all the rulers, like I think he could have. I I don't know. I guess, I guess this this just isn't playing around like bottomless or anything. Yeah. But okay, so yeah, he he's going f for this route, I suppose. Is that trap wire? Yes. Okay. Is is that what it's called, trap wire? Yeah. Okay. All right, so got Tefnut's effect off, popped one of the back row, a card that would not have stopped black rows. Now I think he's going to try to black rows. Uh, if this doesn't go through, if this doesn't go through, he'll be in a fine position, honestly. Yeah, I think if this goes, if it goes through, I think he can game because he has, yeah. he has yeah. all four rulers, and I think he has enough dragons. If it goes through, he'll definitely win. If, even if it doesn't, though, he'll only have Tyree will only have two more back row. Yep. The chances of both of them, like one of them is probably a soul charge. That he hasn't, that's been dead up until now because of the emptiness. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for Dallas, honestly. So, we'll see if that goes through. Yep. yep, going through. That's game. I think he's scooping. Yep. I didn't get to see what his set cards were, but. It's pretty interesting. He just, like, he didn't let Dallas do it. He just insta scooped. Yeah. I'm surprised I, he wouldn't be, like, go through the motion of winning. Well, I think Tyree, I think he's just saving time, honestly. That's true. Yeah, because, like, he's, his whole board's going to be cleared. I don't, Dallas might have been able to OTK and might not have, but Tyree would have drawn to one card in hand, like, even if he top decked Archfiend. I guess he could have top decked Soul Charge. I think a topped Archfiend or Soul Charge. Because he gets, uh, what is it? Launcher. launcher. Yeah, he didn't have Launcher yet, did he? Hmm. I don't know. That might have been an early scoop, but it, it also might have been game if, if he had enough dragon fodder to summon all four dragons. Either way, moving on to game three here. Tyree gets to go first. That's bad news for Dallas. This is round two. No, all of his back row were spell cards, probably uh, soul charges. MGN, TSM, the rotations are strong. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's keep the talk to Yu Gi Oh here, people. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> ARG does not have Monte Cristo's face. <laughs> I think wiretap is definitely fine. Like, it's seven tools that doesn't have a cost. I think it's going to be a lot better in future formats, but right now it might be a little. Yeah. Yeah, it's ha still it's still really good. Had it been around like, like had it been before Dragon of Legends, it would have been very good in definitely in like the Vegas format because yep. everyone was playing seven tools two or three. Yep, without a doubt. Tyree's going off. And uh, Dallas is a maxi. The commentators play lol. Yes, we do. I do. But right now, we're going to focus on the game. Later, we can talk about me. Probably yeah. Not. All right. So, yeah. Did you say he has a maxi, so he can't do too much here? So, I think it's just going to be a lava chain. Probably send a street patrol pass. Oh, set backers, obviously, and then pass. Yeah. I don't Ooh, even know. Key Beetle. Oh, he, oh. his emptiness set. So, he's yeah. going to Key Beetle emptiness. That could be... Pretty good. Uh, Dallas has Lava Golem, which isn't going to do him too much good right now. It's an interesting side card. I'm more surprised it's not the Queen. Queen, yeah. Yeah, the Queen would be really good here. That would just absolutely. Oh wait, no, but he can't play the Queen when uh, Emptiness is up, actually. So. Oh yeah, but like just as a, a general card selection, I think Queen's better. The Golem, that force your opponents have to be like more greedy. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I probably wouldn't expect either, to be honest. 
I don't know, maybe if I was actually playing and I'd talk to people, they would tell me these things. But yeah. if somebody lava goal in me, I'd be like, dang. I think those cards are funny. It's one of those cards that, like, every, like a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, this card. Like, the fire ice hands. So many people are like, yeah, it's my secret tech. It's the fire ice hands in the board. And it's like, oh, really? You're the fourth person to have told me that's their secret tech. <laughs> so this looks like a very different game than the last two with the, the yeah. key beetle play. It might actually be, like, a grind game. I haven't really seen too much about the Hieratics, but do they grind well? Um... I think they do when there's not an emptiness on the board being locked. Yeah. But yeah, I just I don't know how much they can really do. Like, aren't there like very few outs to this this field right now? Yeah, because I don't I don't think our addicts like defensive traps aren't like the thing right now. No. Did uh did Master Key Beetle attack directly? Um, I'm not or was sure. That, his first turn? that was his first. He played okay. the Key Beetle on his first turn. Yes. Okay. Commentators, cue with me sometime. All right. <laughs> okay, so can you you contribute face down cards for Lava Golem? I believe so, yeah. So this is going to be interesting. Okay. But I don't think he can because of the, yeah, the he, emptiness. He, he has to get around the, if, uh, the emptiness. But if he does, he'll be in a really good position. Maybe trap stun? Trap stun plus that? Yeah. Yeah, that would be really good. But then, like, I always thought cards like that are weird. Because, like, if he doesn't just kill the emptiness, then his opponent has a 3,000 beater. Yeah. Just beat winning the game. Well, the traps would then be negated so I'm sure he could follow that up with something else Yeah. And Tyree couldn't have anything because Infernity just don't play hand traps I think like the big thing with the Lava Golem at least in this matchup is if he can get rid of the uh, the Archfiend mm -hmm. to negate barrier yep shout out to Izuku he's not here but he's uh, he judged all the circuit events he's in the chat are you live? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if I'm hearing you in person or over the mic, though. I don't huh. know. So Dallas must have something, because he's, he's tanking. Yeah, I, maybe he's thinking about whether or not to play Trap Silent, or maybe he's trying to figure out the card interaction here. Oh, he's got Soul Charge. Cool. Yeah, it, it, all he needs is a trap stone here to be able to do things. And he has five cards set, so he either has it or he doesn't, really. I think it's a Necromancer set, so Tyree's just, like, he's just completely free to attack, even if for some reason he's playing something like a defensive trap. Yeah. So he just set another bluff soul charge. Dallas looks very stressed. Yeah, I think that's an interesting thing to talk about. Is like, he like took forever to think, put his hands in his face, and then set a card. Yeah, well, so he just conceded. Yeah, I guess he didn't have an out. Yeah.